What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is October 7th, 2018. It is going to be my outing number 140 of this year. We have come a long way, my friends. And welcome to another episode of Does It Work? Today, we are going to be working with another Eurotaco Micro Finesse Soft Plastic, all right? Now, if you guys watch the videos here on the channel, you know that I already went through a bunch of them, right? We already did a review on the B-Vibe, which is a fish imitation lure. We already did a review on the Anisoptera, right? Anisos Pitera, that is the Dragonfly Larvae imitation lure. And then I brought you guys a video on the Metacraw, because you folks requested. That was the crawfish imitation lure. And guess what? In today's video, I am bringing you guys the curly peed. Check that out, huh? As you guys can see, this is a micro finesse lure. It is 1.6 inches in terms of length, all right? It is also scented with the S pheromone for an additional flavor to the fish, just like all the other soft plastics in the micro finesse collection. It has the body of a centipede and a little curly tail at the end, right? Which makes its name the curly pede. I'm here in New Jersey. I'm going to be hitting a few different spots, ponds and creeks. And my goal for the day is to catch some black crappie on this lure, the Pomoxis nigromaculatus. Now you guys know, as a multi-species angler, I really welcome all species to come, right? We will see what will show up on this lure today or even if this lure works or not, right? I need to see how's the action on this little curly tail. I need to see how's the presentation, right? So stay tuned and let's get the fishing started. Maybe there's some black crappie around here. You never know. And next to the fish ladder. Oh, there's one. Oh, I knew it. There's some crappie right by this fish ladder. I mean, it is a small one. It is a small one, folks. I'll admit it. But you see, I came to this fish ladder right here and I thought there would be some black crappie around and we did find our target species for the day at least right now we just need to catch some keepers i have to say i am extremely pleased that the first species of the video is our target species for the day this is this this is the fish that we're looking for today the black crappie okay for it to be a keeper here in new jersey it has to be at least eight inches I don't really want to take this fish home to eat today, especially because it is coming from this area that is not like clean, clean. I just want to see if we can actually land a keeper or not today, all right? So let's try to catch some bigger ones. Oh wow, there's a whole school of them. Right here, I guess. Ay, 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 Okay. Another feisty little crappie. They are definitely eating the curly tail, the curly peed. Very good, okay. But this is really not what we're looking for. Hopefully some bigger ones are going to show up. Yo, usually when you find one crappie, there's a school of crappie, so... And the sizes may be different from time to time, so... There's one. You never know. Ay, ay, ay. The sizes here seem to be all the same, though. I don't know now if we will be able to find some bigger ones from this school that is right in front of us. We may have to move spots. Come on, crappie, 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 crappie. Crappy, 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 crappy. Oh, I had a bite. Come on, Mr. Crappy. I know there's gotta be a big one down here. Ay, 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 it's all this size. 
Anyways, folks, I think it is about time to move spots. All the crap here around this area has been about four to five inches maximum. But you know what? I am extremely happy to see that first and foremost, the curly peed actually works for this fish because you know that when a soft plastic like this can catch fish of that size, right? That the bigger fish will have absolutely no problem munching on it, right? If you really want to kind of get the bigger ones and not catch the smaller ones, you can change your jig head from a 164 to a 132, right? You see how long this lure is. The tail at the end is still going to give action and you can just hook it deeper into the soft plastic, right? Nice design. Ooh, what is this? Wait, is that a, oh, that's a little large mouth bass, huh? -huh. Well, it ain't no surprise that a little large mouth bass would bite on the curly peed. <laughs> Another species for today. Well, what can I say, right? Kinda obvious that one of these would show up today. There's one. What we got here. Wow, it is a pumpkin seed. That's another species for today. As you guys can see, I added a float to the setup, right? So that I can increase my casting distance with the curly peed. I was hoping there's some crappie right by the falls over there. And this little fella showed up instead. Well, 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 this pumpkin seed really liked the curly peed. Can tell you that much. All righty, little fella, you good to go. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. And that float went down. Oh, that's why nice size bluegill. Nice size bluegill indeed. Not only good for crappie, good for multi-species fishing. There it goes. There we go, there we go. What is that, a little bit better? Is this our target species? Yeah, but the size, sizes are still not there. It is a crappie. We now know there is crappie over here. But, you know, this is far, this is a far cry from the sizes that we are looking for, yeah. <sighs> Man, how do I even get down here? Bro, can you even get down there? Like vegetation the vegetation has grown thick around here that's all i can say holy macaroni Whew. you want to come fishing over here later folks always ask me leo why are you using long sleeves always right especially pants so many poisonous stuff over here goodness gracious anyways spot number two was very good in terms of diversity it really wasn't that good in terms of black crappie so oh man i have to cross this stuff here it really wasn't good in terms of black crappie so i'm going to spot number three now and we're going to try to catch some black crappie over here if i if i can actually cross all this stuff oh my goodness we are at the final stages of crossing everything Whoa. Whew. holy macaroni Oh, later people ask me, Leo, why you use long sleeves? Now you guys know it, right? But we are here. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Things that we do to catch the fish. Oh, there's one on. There's one on. First cast. First cast. 
Oh, that seems like a nice one. That seems like a nice one. Is this what we're looking for? I think this is what we're looking for. Gotta be careful. They don't call them paper mouths by now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now this, my friends, is a proper crappie. This is approaching eight inches, okay? This is more about the sizes that we're looking for today. Not bad, man. It bit as soon as I cast it down there. I mean, who's gonna cross all that vegetation to come fish over here, right? No wonder. Okay, I like this. See, this is more like it. You know, if we can catch more of these fish right here, I'll be very, very happy. There's one. There's another one. Oh, yes. You see that submerged vegetation right there, that submerged log or whatever it is. There's a whole school right there. This one is smaller, on the smaller size, but even the smaller one here, as you, as you guys can see, is about the same size as these ones we were catching at the other spot, right? So this is definitely a bonus, you know? This is good crappie. Oh no, that was a sloppy release. Is that fish going to be okay? Let me let me give him a little help here. Oh, 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 okay, that fish is fine now. But that was a sloppy release. There's one. There's one, not bad. Not bad at all. Sometimes you see the float moving to the side and you know it is a crappie. It doesn't really go down, you know, they just drag it. Yeah, not bad at all. They call them paper lips. Gotta be very careful. The mouth, you know, the hook can come out very easy. Chunky one, see? This is, this is much, much better than the ones that we were catching before today. Let me see. It is about, it is 2.12 p.m. right now, Easter Standard Time. Today's Sunday, so my time out here fishing already, you know, I didn't have a lot of time to really come and do some fishing to begin with. I need to spend some time with my wife tonight, right? You spend some time with your loved one, so she allows me to go out fishing for the week. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I think that in this video, we did fairly good, right? I, I went to three different fishing spots, and the goal for the day, which was to catch, you know, a nice, decent-sized crappie, we accomplished it. That was a decent-sized crappie for this area, believe it or not, okay? I wish we had the 14 inches, 16 inches slab, right? Some places around here do have them, but you know, it is not as easy to catch those. Overall, the Aerotackle Curly Peed really works well, you know? It is a very simple finesse lure, and I guarantee you that if you use it, and you, you just do a steady retrieve, right? Or even when you jig, the tail here at the back just do an amazing action down there that really attracts the fish. So if you want to check out Aerotackle Man, I'm leaving a link in the description of the video. If you decide to actually get some of the micro finesse lures, just don't forget to use my promo code Extreme Fully Fishing. You get 10% off your entire order. Save yourself some money. Do yourself a favor, right? And I get absolutely no commission out of this promo code, okay? It is really a deal that I did with my sponsor, Eurotaco, so that you can go out there and just save some money while getting some products that you get to enjoy. Crappie, definitely go crazy, you know, for them. And as you guys can see, as you guys saw in this video, this is a great soft plastic for just multi-species fishing. All right, fellas, I hope you... I almost dropped my stuff on the rocks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, okay? It is time for me to go. I'll see you all next time. Tight lines, keep on slaying, and take it easy.